Hello and welcome to the first tutorial on Corel Video Studio 8 in which we are going to just take some media of a DVD, simply edit it and that's going to be it. So the first thing we do is go into File, we then go down into Insert Media File to Timeline and to get it from a DVD we go into Digital Media. Once we hit that, we come up with this particular message box, which we go start, and as soon as we push start, it reads the DVD. Now allow all the boxes here to light up, and then like continue. Once all the boxes are filled up with uh, video images, you click inside the little black box to the left of the video you wish to view. Once you've done that, you then go up to the play button here to preview that clip and you preview the clip. Once you've got your preview clip up, you push play. And of course your preview clip will begin. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing because we obviously don't need to. Uh, the things we do obviously need to go through is what this does. Well this is a scrubber so you can actually look at the video more quickly and realise what is uh, on your video. And you can obviously move that all the way to the right as well as all the way to the left. If we then push the play button with the uh, little line by the side of it, we can uh, now go to the next mode, which we could give it a click. And in this case, let's just let it do what it's got to do. And there you go, it goes into title number two for you, so it basically starts another title. So we are quite happy with title number one, so I'm going to go back into title number one. Now to use title one in the video studio itself, all what we have to do is close that by going to the X, the red X. Don't go to the top one there or you kill the whole lot. Just go to the red X there, close that down, and then you go to start import and that will import it to your Corral Video Studio 8. Once loaded, we get this message about the project settings matching the video's principles, and we should always go no, um, due to when you do do yes, it will upset the video on the box which is here and therefore that's why I always push no. To edit the video we have various ways of doing that. We have the scrubber just there which will high speed scrub so you can actually find the content very quickly and then take out what you want and you can obviously move it all the way to the right and all the way back to the left. We also can use the other scrubber just there, which we can then move more like slower, which be a slower like count. We can also go by next, which is you know basically using frame by frame. And um, we can also use the end sections so we can go end to the right end to the left which is the beginning of the course and we can also play the video now how i like to actually do my now so i can do it reasonably quickly but there is other techniques to this um way of doing it is use the scrubber just there and all what I then do is come along and say I want just that piece of footage till the point of, we'll say, because we don't want to make this too long. Alright, we'll let the two people come down, but in this case, as they come into this 
second shot, somewhere between the second shot and the first shot, I want to get rid of. Alright, yeah, now, somewhere around about there, it will change to the second shot, which it just did. So, what I can then do is line that up there, go for the frames, which is the last number, go up the frames, meaning proceed forward, and obviously down the frames is coming backwards. So we are at the correct point. So we can then cut at that particular point, find the other end of that particular um, piece of video, which I usually highlight it first, and then because I want to go right over to, you know, roughly about, sort of just past where those blokes are, about there, I can now bring the video to the left, or the marker at least to the left, by moving that, move the other scrubber to the right until I get to the bushes and I want, which is going to be there in this case, cut there, highlight the left video, and then cut, or in this case, delete that video should be just there and then that will shorten that particular video so I get that that and as the train is then obviously coming in which is what I want anyway okay we can have another train coming in then obviously get on to the train I'll move that forward just slightly and we can carry on and then cut it as it cuts properly. A little bit more moving the video footage to the left so I can move it. Move that again and there it cuts. So what we will do is stop there. Frames go down probably one. Cut there and cut there. And that's basically editing okay there are there are other f facilities in there which i will show you over the course of the time but for now that's what you're going to get is a, a nice simple one okay so join me uh next time where i will have another video ready on video studio 8 so if you want to continue these tutorials please subscribe and thank you for watching